We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And NFL Game Day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but the, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally crapping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. One speed engaged. What are you trying to play? Oh, great pass block. That's just as good as a sack. No, it ain't. When you get a sack, you get to hit the QB in the nuts. Yeah, good point, Junior. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to Los... Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! First and ten. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, and, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Second down in a very lot. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and the punter is warming up. And the defense was reading him like a book. Like it was written in Braille, Grim. His hands were all over the ball. Holy hell. Rick said something clever. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Hey, man, I scared one of them. I ain't gonna hell with all them. Oh, nice time warp dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What? First and ten. If there were any functioning... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down and ten. Another hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> First. 
first down and forever. And that's a pass that went nowhere. God, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. At this rate, the QB's going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. I don't even get out of it. And it's first and ten. Well, that's the end of his day. Looks like he had a bad case of the worms. And it's first and ten. Dirty trick. Fee five folk. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> and it's first and ten. the ground game and with the vicious kill did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25 i didn't know that yeah right below attending bachelor parties and owning a sam schlong galaxy phone and it's first and ten that would have been a disappointing run it's even a worse. oh no that was totally unnecessary <laughs> i gotta see that one again it was also freaking awesome i hope they have raincoats in the front Second down and nine. <laughs> At this point, with multiple interceptions, the oh, oh, the worm swallows him whole and goes down like the last shot of whiskey in an Irish wake. You know, my wife went to Scotland. She came home with a Scottish tapeworm. Not a big eater, though, so that's good. More of a drinker, really. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. <laughs> And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have... Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Scrambler! And it's first and ten. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. And it's first and ten. When it's your time to go, it's your time.
First down and six. And the ball is lateral to his touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Man, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You, you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have fun. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grim, hide the stash. On it. And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and two. point but you never know with kickers <laughs> the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five First and ten. The defense 
leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over here. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about... Sh oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah! And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Third down and six. He's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And that's a nice run for a first down. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what if interceptions counted as touchdown? He broke free and has open field in front of him. No touchdown today. Looks like that defender ate his bleedies this morning. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Yeah, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. A lot of game isn't as close as the score indicates. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. There aren't 
too many players that kids can look up to at home. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Wow, he got mugged. More like a mafia hit. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Oh, and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone, quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake she did about 35 years ago. His cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Fumble! You've got to protect the ball better than that. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go. He's unstoppable. see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite first down and nine for the touchdown does anyone have a rule book because that sounds like he's making stuff up uh, do we have a rule book it's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food idiot <laughs> and this is a first and long and they've had enough the offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref First down in a mile. Oh man, the offense called a murder ball. Did you? A little on the nose, don't you think? He did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. point attempt it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hey. in a shower of blood and guts the Mellis Hellboys send the opposition straight to hell they win by forfeit there's not much left of the opposition and the fans are loving it there was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you not? shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Yeah, man, I was huge on the funeral now. The 
<laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every.